Apparently yesterday, I put up today's videos for the stitch. So here's yesterday's video on the seed stitch. Uh, told you it was a day yesterday, day before. It's been a week. <laughs> All right, guys, I apologize for the goof up. Hopefully today, today I will get it correct for today's stitch, and you'll see that double crochet again. <laughs> so enjoy. <laughs> All right, we're ready to get back to this, and I wanted to show you what I had so far. Um, I did wind up um, chaining, doing 81 chains, and then I worked my half double crochets for that, and that's a good size little lapkin that'll run over the um, arms of a wheelchair. So the next stitch that I am doing. Let me see if I can get my yarn out here. And I'm going to get my sample piece, because that's what I'm going to show you. Is the simple seed stitch. So here we are with the simple, with my new yarn. I'm going to use red on this and on my sample. And I didn't finish my last stitch because I thought I would show you how I normally block these in. Did I finish my last stitch? I did do my last stitch. I'm actually going to take it back through. Since I'm doing a half double crochet, normally what I would do is go ahead and do this part where I am yarning over and going into the loops and then I will pull up both of these together this way with a long tail for both pull up yarn over and pull through all three of those loops then from there I'm going to pick up my red color chain one now, seed stitch is just simply um, single crochet in one, double crochet in the next. Since I have started with the chain one, I'm going to put a single crochet into this first stitch, then a double, then single, then double. Single, double, ignore the phone, and then my last stitch will be a double. Now on the return rows, the subsequent rows, this is the way seed stitch works. Since I ended with a double, I am going to chain one. And if you end with a double, then you'll start with a single crochet. And then you're going to put the doubles where you put the single crochets. Single where the doubles were double crochet where the single was and you'll just repeat that to the end all the way across and because I had an even number I'll end with the double there. Now, if you have an odd number of stitches on your hook and you end with a single crochet on one end and a double on the other, if this were a single crochet, then what I would do is do the chain three or whatever your method you do for your chain three. And then since 
you know, if that were a single double cro single crochet, I would start with the double crochet in it. Um, normally, I do not do a chain three like that. Um, one of the ways that I've always gotten away from that is to do a chain one and then to go into these two stitches here pull up a loop Oops. and then do that and then I would go into this stitch in this one here to do the third for the double Well, I skipped that stitch, didn't I? And there you would have a double crochet. That is the seed stitch. Um, for every stitch that has a double crochet, you'll put a single crochet. For every single stitch, you'll put a double crochet in it. And you'll just repeat those rows for as many times as you want. I am probably going to do five or six rows. And then the following day, tomorrow, I'll have another stitch that I'll be adding on. So, if you're joining me, good luck. I hope to see your work soon. Everybody, have a great day, and I'll see you again on Friday. Bye.